Greetings, my family in Christ. I hope you are doing well today. Isn't this a beautiful purple, I think, China Aster? And there is a little pink one there. And the Cosmos is looking great. The, flat, the garden is winging, winding down. We'll have to hope for a better season next year where I can maybe apply some things I've learned. There's a lot of them. Well, I made a lot of mistakes. Let me put it that way. I'm not sure I've learned from them, but um, God is good. And I hope you all are enjoying some cooler weather like we are. And life is really, really good. Today's verse is James chapter 4, and I'm going to, chapter 4 in James is a really wonderful way of listening to God directing our lives, and I have a lot of things that have crossed my heart. There's a little pretty pink one. I love the pink. They really get to me just like the blues do, the yellows, all of them. I love them all. But these little little asters, I, I've got to check to see what they are. They are so pretty. And they're coming here in the late summer season or early fall. And it's just color that we just welcome. Here's a beautiful uh, golden marigold that will help keep pests out of the garden. And it also is a deterrent for snakes. The roots, I have heard, the snakes hate the marigold, so they'll keep the snakes away from areas so if you have a house um, we have a neighbor that was bitten by a copperhead when he went out to his concrete uh, driveway at night and stepped on a car copperhead where he couldn't see it so maybe plant marigolds around where you walk typically and um, certainly don't want to step on a copperhead or um, any of that stuff but the deer too it will tear the deer but james chapter four and we're going to take verses one through three today and here's some more flower fall flowering um of adjurator james four verse one through three what is causing the quarrels and fights among you don't they come from the evil desires at war within you you want what you don't have, so you scheme and kill to get it. You are jealous of what others have, but you can't get it, so you fight and wage war to take it away from them. Yet you don't have what you want because you don't ask God for it. And even when you ask, you don't get it because your motives are all wrong. You want only what will give you pleasure. And that is so true. We don't focus on the right things in life. If things affect your time, energy, money, health, and it's not for the good of God, you will pay another price for it. There are lots of things that we do that would affect all four of those things, and we need to develop, and, it's, and not for the good either. There are lots of things that I have done in my life. Maybe gardening isn't the best thing to spend my time and energy and money and maybe it's affecting my health negatively but we need to we need to develop our seventh sense our god sense as to what he wants us to do so we need to ask to do spend our energy in the right way our time money and do things that certainly don't affect our health negatively we don't want to pay the price for health woes and then blame god why did why didn't you take this away and whenever we were the ones that started it and wanted it and insisted on doing it despite knowing what we know is not exactly good for us so i know that this is probably boring because there's no pollinators out here but um you all pray about things develop your seventh god sense you will have a sense that he's leading you away from something and please don't ignore that that is critical to a healthy good long successful life for god in jesus name we pray 